In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to apply conditional formatting to a range of values. Conditional formatting allows us to change the way either the contents of the cell or the cell itself looks, depending on a condition that we specify. So I'm going to be doing some work on the cleanse data sheet, and I'm going to use conditional formatting on the game player movement column. And what I want to do is wherever I've got the words arrow keys, I want that to be formatted with a fill color of red. And wherever I've got the W, A, S and D values, I want those to be formatted with a fill color of yellow. Uh, that will enable me to clearly see from looking at the cells themselves, um, or give me a, a, an estimation of how popular certain um, choices of player movement are going to be. So the first thing that I want to do is to select my data. So I'm just going to highlight all the data in this column. Making sure I'm on the Home tab, I'm going to come across to Conditional Formatting, and I'm going to create a new rule. Making sure that you select Format Only Cells That Contain, this is where I'm going to start setting my rule up. So I want to make sure that the cell value is equal to, and then I'm going to type in the value I'm looking for. So in this, this case, it's arrow keys. So I've set up that, uh, that rule there for arrow keys, and I'm going to choose my format. So from here, I can choose the format, the number, so I can change it. I can change to format the font that's inside the cell. I can change to format the border that's around the cell, or I can change to format, uh, choose the format, the fill color. I'm going to choose the fill color, and I'm going to select the red. So I'm going to select OK. And then this is uh, give me an overview of my rule. And when I click OK, what should happen is the arrow keys cells will turn red. So you can see that they have. So I want to apply my second conditional format. So I'm going to go on to conditional formatting. And this time I'm going to manage rules. OK, so I'm going to create a new rule within this um, box. So I'm going to select new rule. Uh, this time again, format only cells that contain. The cell value is going to be equal to, and this time it's going to be W, A, S and D. I'm going to choose my format, and this time I'm going to select a yellow fill color. OK, click OK. And there's my rule, and I'm going to click OK, and then apply. So you can see both my rules there. I'm going to click OK to come off that uh, dialog box, and when I click off there, now you can see clearly that I've got, it gives me a good idea that arrow keys are by far the, uh, the more um, popular choice for control methods in my game player movement. So that's how you use conditional formatting to format the, um, the cells depending on um, the value uh, inside the cell.